Oh my gosh, did you see that? What the hell? Oh, that was insane. Are you kidding me? What? All right, welcome back to another episode, you fishaholics. So today, we're gonna try and explore around a new area on the South Fork of the St. Lucie River. And yesterday was my first time here in the evening we tried. And uh, now we are gonna try again because yesterday, although I found fish, I failed to hook them and boat them. So uh, I think there's so much potential here. We're gonna try a different tide conditions and time of day today. So hopefully, That'll be what it'll take. Let's get the kayak unloaded in the water and uh, be sure to give this video a big fat like if you enjoyed at the end. All right, so we out here now and we're headed towards the eastern side of the river because it has a lot of potential, some really juicy looking seawalls and quite a few docks. And we fished this side yesterday, but only for about like 30 minutes because it was really, really windy and it was rough. So in these conditions, we might have a little bit better chance of pulling something out. And uh, also check this out, my down rudder pulley cord snapped yesterday. So we lost quite a bit of time trying to fix that, which was really difficult. So then I scrapped that plan. I just took some thread and I tied it to the rudder and then brought it on through the outside, along the outside of the hull, up through the Mirage Drive hole and just fastened it right here. So it's you know locked in the down position. So at least now we can fish until we have some time to fix it. And I'm packing a heavier inshore setup because I heard there's some big jacks around. And then we've got a lighter inshore setup. That'll probably be our main stick unless uh, we find some bigger fish. And well, uh, this is perfect. We got out here just in time for it to start raining. It wasn't forecasted to rain either, so this is absolutely awesome. Ooh, this looks really good. Nice little canal mouth. Might get a little bit deeper along this seawall. Might be a chance for some fish. Come on, come on, fish. Nothing. It does get deeper right in here, so I can see these fish liking the little extra depth and water. Along that first seawall, it was only about like a foot and a half. I'm fishing with this live target mullet, and uh, I guess we've been throwing it for about 30 minutes now. If we don't have a bite soon, we'll probably take it off and try something else. Oh! There was a jack, just nailed it. All right, I think that's about it for the mullet for now. Let's clip this off and I'm thinking we should try like a soft plastic jerk bait, like this power bait mullet jerk shad. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a swim bait hook, just screw it right on the nose. All right, let's see if anything wants to eat that. Whoa, 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 something here on the corner is destroying something. Fish on. Probably a jack. Yeah, little guy. Wow, look how yellow he is. It's pretty cool. He ate that like as soon as it hit the water. Jacks, uh, I guess we could say really aren't that picky. What's up, bud? Oh, there was a fish. Oh, just had a bite. There he is. Hey, we got a Snooky. Heck yeah. On the little jerk bait. Oh, he's jumping. Phew. He's so dark, such a cool looking fish. There we go. Look at that pretty, pretty snook. All right, well, we just moved from the east side of the river now to the west side of the river because the wind kicked up pretty bad over there. And we fished about an hour more after 
having just that one and only snook. And uh, we fished like another half a dozen sea walls, half a dozen rock walls, like half a dozen uh, boat docks and a canal, and uh, not another bite, which has really got me scratching my head. So. What, that's why I wanted to come over here because I feel like the conditions would be a little bit more favorable with this westish type wind. It's uh, a little nicer over here. So we're going to keep plugging away, doing what we're doing. We'll fish here for like another hour or so. And if we can't catch any fish, then uh, we're going to have to make some serious uh, game changing moves. All right, this looks pretty good here. We've got a nice long seawall and then a little canal mouth that it meets. Let's take a few casts here first. Water still seems just about deep enough we can get real nice and close and fish it. Hmm, nothing. All right, well, we're gonna just try a little swim bait now and start fishing some boat docks. We've got like five or seven to the south of us that we could try and fish. And we've also got some more sea walls which have some potential. Well, there's a little baby snooky. All right, maybe we'll be on to something now. Where's your mama? It's a pristine little snook. Ugh. All right, well, we just fished like another seven, eight docks along this stretch and go figure, not another bite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the mangroves across the river, fish that one shoreline, and if we can't get like on a little bite, then we're heading out of here. Oh, another little baby snook. I think we're uh, on the bite. <laughs> Not really. Hmm. All right, you know what? We're gonna put the little rod down for a little bit and we are going to grab the big rod and I don't know, just take a cast maybe with some top water, something big and something maybe a big fish will eat. Just try it out, why not? We're not really doing anything anyway. Whoa. Big jacks, big jacks. Come on, come on. Eat the sluggo. Talk about perfect timing. Oh, that's actually a nice snook. No way. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh man. Heck yeah. Oh, I thought that was a jack. Trying to hide under the kayak. Solid snook on the sluggo. To be honest, I, I had no idea we were gonna catch a fish on the sluggo. I was just kind of throwing it for the heck of it. Look at that. That is a gorgeous. Snooky. Whew. Biggest fish of the day so far. <sighs> Maybe we're learning something. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> On the sluggo. <laughs> and it's like 12 o'clock right now. <laughs> so a midday like sluggo topwater snook. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hells to the yeah. Let's see if we can do it again. You know, also come to think of it, I don't think I've ever caught a fish on a nine inch sluggo in the middle of the day like this. And uh, I'm sitting in less than a foot of water, probably casting out to like a foot and a half, probably not even. And uh, that boat over there is actually sitting on the bottom. Oh, there's another one. No, dude. Oh, we're getting onto a little pattern here. I'm liking it. That could have been a big jack or a big snook. I'm not sure.
There's another one. I'm not sure what it is, but he's pulling. Pulling hard. What? Look at that, he's spinning the kayak. <laughs> oh, it's a jack. A little bit bigger one. All right, pretty cool. All right, not bad at all. Heck yeah, getting on a little sluggo bite. All right, well, just got back to the launch and uh, pretty cool. We got on a little consistent action real quick. And uh, to be honest, it's actually an hour later now. I went back to the east side of the river where we started fishing this morning and I fished it hard. We had one bite over there, but uh, I figured it was worth a shot being that like we weren't throwing that bait earlier, but we probably should have been throwing that nine inch sluggo where we started this morning. We probably would have did a, little, a lot better, uh, you know, or if we were fishing into dusk t this evening, that would be like the hot bait that I'd be throwing. But uh, my legs are getting burned. I'm tired. I'm hungry. So uh, we're going to call it here and uh, we learned a lot. So hopefully in a future video, we'll come back out here and, and do a lot better. So thanks for watching and uh, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe if you enjoyed and like always, never forget, live to fish, fish to live.